Welcome everybody to the uh, Shoreview Culvert Drive Improvements Meeting. Uh, this is the uh, public meeting for the final plans on this project. And I want to welcome you all and thank you for participating. Uh, my name is Michael Wellbaum. I'm the project manager for the city on this project. With us tonight is Misty Christian. She's the engineer on the project. She's with Kimley Horn. Uh, she also has Nick here with her from her team. Uh, they're the ones who have put this plan together. And a special thank you for all the hard work you guys have done. And I'm, I'm particularly thankful we've stayed on track schedule-wise. So thank you all for all of your hard work. Um, we don't have council member Shingleton here tonight, but I do know that he's aware of this project and has supported it along the way. So thank you to him as well. So tonight's uh, presentation will be fairly brief. Uh, I only have a few things I want to discuss. And then at the end, I'll take questions. Uh, if you're online, you can submit questions in the chat window as we move along. And uh, if they don't get answered, then at the very end, we'll, we'll circle back around and answer those questions. So tonight we're going to talk about the project background. I'll talk to you about the scope of the project and exactly what we're doing uh, out on Shoreview. And then uh, lastly, we'll talk about traffic control, which is probably one of the things that's most important to you if you're a resident in the area. So uh, if I can advance it correctly. All right. So for project background, uh, this project is located at the corner of uh, Shoreview Drive and Bomber Drive. It's just to the west of Bomber Drive, and you can see the location uh, indicated on the, on the image to the left of the screen. Uh, this is a culvert replacement project. We're planning to replace the existing 48-inch pipe culverts with new 10 by 10 boxes. Uh, the reason for for the project, and the reason we're doing this is that area is prone to flooding. Uh, it has a very large drainage area to the to the south that comes into the lake, and its proximity to the lake makes it a particularly hazardous uh, uh, location in the event that we do have flooding. So that's those are some of the drivers for why we're doing this project now. Um, the last item you see on my list is project schedule. Uh, we have just completed design of this project. The project is, has been advertised. Today was actually the first day for advertising. And we anticipate bidding the project, uh, taking bids on the project on March 4th. Um, once we take bids, we'll go to council and should have the project awarded uh, by the end of April. Um, our contractor is scheduled to start construction in June or July. It kind of depends on the timing. Of, of getting all of our awards and contracts in place, but we will definitely want to start the project in the summer months when uh, it's dry and we don't expect a lot of rainfall. Construction should be completed. Uh, it's a hundred. It's a 120 day project, so four months. Uh, construction should be ending somewhere between October and and it may be December before everything is completely wrapped up. But the bulk of the project will be done um, um, by October, I would say. So let me go into project scope. Everything worked great before. Now it's not wanting to advance. There we go. Uh, so in terms of project scope, what you see on the screen is an aerial image of that intersection. The shaded areas in the middle are where the construction activities are going to start. We'll, we will likely have some uh, storage and other activities happening outside of that shaded area, but we won't be out on Bomber Road, and we shouldn't be too far up Shoreview, so it will stay fair, fairly contained in this area. Um, one of the first things that will happen is uh, uh, they'll replace the box culverts, which are right there in the middle. You see blue lines going north and south on the page in the, in the middle of the construction area. That's where the new boxes will go. Then we'll construct retaining walls and an access ramp, and you can see the access ramp on the the south side or the bottom of the of the image where we're working, a light gray shaded area. And then finally, we'll do some guardrail and pavement at the end to clean up the project. Uh, we will be replacing water and sewer lines through the construction limits. Um, 
There will be a brief period where we'll have water shut off as we make some tie-ins at the very beginning, but the way we've designed this project, we don't anticipate any other shutdowns throughout the life of the project or even at the end. Uh, sewer uh, bypass and, and reconnection will work pretty much the same way. We don't anticipate a lot of uh, significant interruptions, so hopefully you don't even know we're, we're there and working. During construction, we're going to close the roadway, which is probably one of the most important things uh, to talk about. During construction, while the road's closed, and you can see uh, in the image, uh, a lot of the lines are black, but right in the middle, there's a cross-hatched area. That's where our construction area is at Bomber and Shoreview. So during construction, to get from one side to the other, uh, for example, if you worked at Lockheed Martin and you needed to leave and get to, to 820, you'll need to go down Bomber Road over to Silver Creek and then on to 820. If you live on Shoreview, you'll have access to your home, but it will come from Las Vegas Trail and from 820 that way. Uh, there won't be any, any access into the Shoreview area uh, from Bomber Road while we're, while we're under construction for that period of, of uh, about 120 days starting in June. And like I said, this was a very short presentation, so we're at the point for questions, uh, my information is on the screen. Again, my name is Michael Wellbaum. I'm the project manager. Uh, my telephone number is there for you. It's 817-392-7343. And my email address is michael.wellbaum at fortworthtexas.gov. So I, the floor is open for questions. Um, I don't see a chat window, so so, Jeff, if you're monitoring that, if any questions have come in, throw them out there. Uh, there are no questions in chat. Great. Um, if if anybody has questions and you want to unmute yourself, that, that would be okay as well. Well, this was a good meeting. No questions, no issues. This was this was great. I hope you found it informative. And uh, again, my contact information is included with this presentation. So if you have questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to talk about this uh, anytime. And uh, with that, I think our our meeting is concluded. Unless unless uh, anyone else has anything to add. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it and hope you all have a good evening. Thank you.